Hello guys, welcome to the NEAT PG 2021 pattern questions and here uh, we have got another question that I asked recently in the quiz also and you people uh, requested for the video explanation. So let us see this question. A patient has a primary open angle glaucoma. So they have already given you the diagnosis. The patient has primary open angle glaucoma in the left eye. The appearance of the optic nerve and visual field are shown. Can you see? They have given you this and uh, visual acuity is 20 by 90. Now, despite being on Timolol, they are giving it Timolol. They are giving uh, even the pilocarpine, acetazolamide, intraocular pressure is 20 to 24 mm of mercury. So, this patient who is a known case of primary open angle glaucoma in the left eye, visual uh, field is pattern is given. They have given you the optic disc changes. I'll come to that. And uh, patient vision is less. Then we have got um, the drugs, anti glaucoma drugs made. They are giving the Timolol. They are giving the pilocarpine. Even the acetazolamide is given intraocular pressure is on the higher side we have got 20 to 24 and uh, subsequent visual field test shows the evidence of progression of the field loss in the eye and uh, if you look at the optic disc changes also can you see we are having nearly total optic disc um, atrophy so nearly total optic disc atrophy is also there we have got uh, visual field changes also and uh, they are clearly saying that they are progressing so that means this patient is not controlled on drugs that clear, gives you a clear cut evidence that this patient is not having the uh, control by the anti glaucoma drugs and a lot of drugs uh, that we are giving we are giving the beta blockers the miotic the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors all we are giving which of the following is the best treatment option for this patient so what should we do if a patient uh, already a known case of open angle glaucoma is coming to me and I have tried a lot of drugs but still IOP is 20 to 24 um, visual equity is less and um, we have got near total optic disc changes cupping is there and we are having a progression of visual field so what I will do number one is cetone placement number uh, B is trabeculectomy C is R Argan laser trabeculoplasty and D is addition of aprochlonidine. <coughs> Sorry. So, like I always say, we'll start from the other way around. So, start from the D option. Should you give aprochlonidine? What is aprochlonidine? So, if you remember aprochlonidine, it is the alpha adrenergic agonist. If you think about the alpha adrenergic agonist, you have got two kinds. One is your selective and another is non-selective. So, in the selective variety, you have got three drugs. Which three drugs? The A, B and C. <clears throat> that is apraclonidine, brimonidine and clonidine. So, this A is actually apraclonidine and apraclonidine is given before the procedures. Wherever we are suspecting that this will lead to the rise in intraocular pressure after this procedure I will give this apraclonidine. So I will uh, give apraclonidine if I am going to do this um, trabeculoplasty and all but certainly this is not a maintenance drug and if a patient is already on anti glaucoma drugs and he is not getting enough benefit um, we have got IOP that is 20 to 24. So, you will have to use something else. So, it is not the apraclonidine. Then your option number C is argon laser trabeculoplasty. So, it is actually your laser trabeculoplasty. Now, what do you know about laser trabeculoplasty? It is the treatment of choice for the prophylaxis of the fellow eye in open angle glaucoma. So, it is the treatment of choice of the other eye. So, eye left eye is having open angle glaucoma. So, right away in the right eye, I can do this laser trabeculoplasty so that the patient does not end up in the advanced changes in cases of open angle glaucoma. So, certainly it is again not the best treatment that I should give for the main eye. So, this is also not there. Now, I have got two options left. One is your trabeculectomy and another is a cetone placement. Now, let us revise what is trabeculectomy. Lab uh, trabeculectomy is your filtration operation. It is a uh, fistula that you are creating between the anterior chamber and the subconjunctival space that will allow the free flow aqueous drainage. Will that help? Yes, of course. Uh, because you know that whenever anti glaucoma drugs um, alone as well as in combination fail to give you the desired effect, then what I am going to do, I have to do the trabeculectomy or the filtration surgery. Now, sometimes what is happening, the blab that we are creating. The blab we are creating in the conjunctiva, suppose here I am creating a blab through which the aqueous humor is coming out. So, what is happening? Uh, instead of this, what can happen? This blab can be fibrosed. So, if there is a fibrosis of this blab, uh, blab aqueous humor will stop coming out 
through it and there will be failure of the surgery. So, of course, the next step, the best one that we can do is not the CETON because uh, CETON surgery is also done only after the failure of the trabeculectomy and trabeculectomy is the surgical option treatment of choice whenever medical therapy fails and I think it's a proper indication of starting the surgical treatment because here the multiple combination therapy is not working. That is why the answer to this question will be trabeculectomy. So, can you see we have just used a simple uh, knowledge of the different options. So, obviously you require the factual knowledge, okay, don't uh, because you people were asking me a lot of questions that should we stop revising and memorizing the facts. So, of course, facts are important. Uh, you were reading the anti-glaucoma drugs before also, now also. The uh, difference is that now they are not going to ask you directly what is the indication, what is the contraindication, what is the side effect, but they will be requiring the application of this knowledge in your patient. They will be giving you questions as if you are seeing that case and not solving the MCQs and I think that is a pretty good thing because uh, after uh, all, at the end of the day, we all require good doctors and by this you are definitely going to become a good doctor. So thank you and happy ophthalmology.